Today I'm going to show the second day of the Elmer lesson for kindergarten. We are going to start by choosing a colored piece of construction paper for our background. And we're going to be coloring the background with construction paper crayons. And then we will be cutting out Elmer and drawing his face and ear and adding him to our backgrounds. To get started, my students were able to choose any colored piece of paper that they wanted and each table is going to have a box of construction paper crayons. So today I have chosen a blue paper for my background. The construction paper crayons look like this, and they have a black wrapper on them if they still have the wrapper in. And they look kind of almost like a chalk. They're kind of like a lighter colored crayon. So when I look at this one, I can see this one's not a construction paper crayon. So I'm gonna take that one out. This one doesn't have a black wrapper either. So that one's in the wrong spot too. But to get started with my tree, I'm going to choose a color that I want to use for the trunk of the tree. And I think I'm going to start with this nice orange for the trunk of the tree. So way over on the left, so I'm going to make an L here, that hand makes a left. So on the left of my paper, I'm going to start by making two tall lines. Now Elmer is a big elephant in this small jungle we're making. So I need to make sure that my trees reach up really high towards the sky. So I'm making two lines that go way up towards the sky. All right, so now I might put on the top of the tree. So I chose just a green color like this. It doesn't matter which color you want the top of the tree. And I like to start off and I do like a zig zag line and touch it back to the tree. So I did a zigzag line on the other side. I'm going to do a crazy zigzag line over here and maybe another crazy zigzag down here, and even can do one here, and then I could color that in to make that the top of my tree. Then, on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and make another tree, so I'm gonna draw two, that color didn't work, so I'm gonna draw with maybe the yellow, two really tall lines up again. And this time I think I'm gonna do my tree with a different type of a top. I'm gonna have the top be a bumpy line. So I'm gonna go bump, 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 bump. And it's kind of hard to see, so I might go and add maybe another color, like some white to it so that people can see my tree. And then I'm gonna add maybe a pattern going down my tree trunk. So I'm gonna add some curve lines, like a happy face going right down the tree. Happy face, happy face, happy face, all the way down. And then I can color those in with different crayons to make a colorful pattern. So I could do green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. On the other side, I could maybe do a different pattern. So we're gonna work on making two tall trees in our jungle. My students can even do things like add apples or berries or flowers to their trees. So the next thing we're going to do is we can keep on working on the background. We might want to add some plants down here so I can draw a tall up line and back down so that there's like some leaves growing in here and lots of this might get covered up by Elmer when I glue him down in the jungle and that's okay. I'm going to make a little line in those leaves, maybe find another color, color those leaves in. Okay, I might add some rocks or some pebbles down in the bottom. Like maybe down here I'm going to do a couple big rocks. Maybe over here I'm doing some pebbles. That might be fun. Okay, maybe I'll add another rock right there. And maybe I'm going to put a little bush over here in this corner. So I'm trying to find a color that will show up on my paper. I'm just going to draw a little circle lines and kind of draw in a little bush right there. And maybe I want people to see this a little bit better so I can outline that with another color. 
and maybe it is daytime or nighttime. If it's daytime, I might want to add a sun. If it's nighttime, I might want to add the moon. I'm going to put my sun hiding right there behind the tree. And if you color really hard with these crayons, they almost look like they glow on this construction paper. So I'm going to color in my sun really nice and hard and then give it some sun rays sticking out like that. So my students can add flowers, they could add different things like here I've got a different crisscross pattern on the tree, got some apples growing, this one has coconuts falling from the trees. Um, in this one the top of the tree is a little bit different and there's some cattails growing at the bottom. This one has a polka dot little plant kind of growing out from behind the tree. Here you see my rocks with some different patterns on them and a flower bush behind the tree. And then here's another one that I had again started to work on. So my students can add different details that they want to with the construction paper crayons to continue making Elmer's jungle. All right, the next step is to make our Elmer. So I am done coloring my jungle, so I'm gonna set that to the side. Last time my students did some patchwork on a little piece like this, and I have elephant tracers that look like this. So they are going to flip their patches over and put the elephant tracer on their patches. If they can hold it themselves, they can hold it. Otherwise, they have a friend hold it down for them, and they trace very carefully around the outside edge of my tracer here. So I'm tracing the legs. Now the trunk. And now the top and the back and now it should be done. So that is good. So now what I would do is I would walk over to the scissor bucket and we're going to carry the scissors like this. We use scissor safety. So we cover the scissors up with our hands like this when we are walking. When we get to our spot, we go open, close, open, close, open, close, and use your hand to drive the paper. See, my left hand over here is driving the paper where I want it to turn. Turn this way, open, close, turn this way, open, close. So I'm doing my best cutting to carefully cut out Elmer the elephant. So I'm going to go over here and go back down for the trunk and turn this around. And I'm almost done. Now I have to go in and get the tail. And now the back leg. Now I have the elephant cut out and I can put these scraps in the recycling bin. The next step is for my students to add the details onto their Elmer the elephant. And so they're going to find the trunk and right next to the trunk, they're going to draw a curve line with a curve line on top of it to make a smile. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see his smile here. It's right here with that curve line and a curve line here. And then I'm going to find a spot right up here and I'm going to put his eye. I'm doing an oval shape with a curve line. I'm going to color that inside. And there is Elmer's eye. Now he also needs an ear, so I'm going to draw a big backwards letter C for Elmer's ear, and then I'm going to put some toenails on. So down here on his feet, I'm going to go bump, 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 and I'm going to keep doing that to all four of his toes. So now he has toenails. So Elmer is now ready to be pasted into the jungle. So to paste him into the jungle, my students will need their blue tray and newspaper, Mr. Brush and some elephant paste, and their jungle. So here's my jungle, and here's my Elmer. Now Elmer has to fit in the jungle. 
He can't be sticking up out of the jungle like this or have his trunk out of the jungle like that. He has to stay on the paper. So I'm going to move my jungle down. I'm going to flip Elmer over and I'm going to paint him with paste. Swipe, swipe, swipe all over, getting his tail and his feet. And I'm going to get his trunk. Now that he's covered with elephant paste, I'm going to turn him over and paste him into the jungle. I have to open up my hands and I'm going to spread them out and hold them and want you to count to 20. Once you're done counting to 20, you'll look and see if any part of Elmer's still sticking up. Right here, his little toe's still sticking up, so I'm going to paste underneath his toe and stick it down, paste underneath his tail and stick it down. I'm going to take him off that newspaper. My very last step is to sign my artwork. We're going to sign it with our name and the year. So I think in the sun is a good spot for me to put the year. It's 2017, 2017. So I hid the year right there in the sun. And now I need to put my name somewhere. Hmm, I think I'll put it right here in the tree. So my name is here and the year is right there. You can see on this example, I put my name over going up the tree and my year in the sun. So you can put your year and name wherever you would like to. This is a kindergarten lesson on the second day of Elmer the Elephant making our backgrounds and gluing Elmer into the jungle.